everybody welcome back to the corner in today's video I'm gonna start putting the substrate in here for the new uh, crested gecko cage um, I'm gonna show you how we build up with the uh, uh, drainage layer first then they're gonna get a screen and then we're gonna put the substrate and after that I'll do the planting but for this video I'm just gonna show you how you do the drainage layer the screen and then the substrate so with no further ado let's get started here as you can see, I got these clay balls. You buy them at any hardware store, or you can even buy them at a reptile store. They're just balls that go at the bottom, and the, what they do is they keep water from the, the stagnant water down below. They keep it from getting bad and moldy and stuff. So yeah, you start off with throwing these in the bottom. Once I get them in, I'll show you what it looks like. Inside this bucket here, that's the clay balls I'm showing you. But before you want to put them in your aquarium and start using them, you need to make sure you clean them and wash them off really well before you start using them. Because I'll tell you, these things are dirty. Now what I did, you hold on a second here. What I did, I just have a little bucket here. And at the bottom, as you can see, I put holes in it. And I just fill this up with water once or twice and let it drain out. And that should clean it off. As you can see, you see the dirt coming out of here already? These things are real dirty. So if you just go ahead and put them in without washing, you're going to be in big trouble. So I'll, I'll get back to you when I'm done washing them. Now here's another little trick. I got a little PVC pipe, as you can see. And what I like to do is I like to put it right in the corner of these tanks. And you put it right up against there and then you put your rocks and stuff your substrate over and what that does it was once this gets you know this much water and stuff all you got to do is take the cap off get a wet dry back and you get to suck out the water there other people they drill a hole in the bottom of their terrarium and they'll put like a, a shut off valve a ball cock or something like that but to me i just find that too risky you crack your tank and stuff where this works just fine you just put it in there, put your rocks around, and then with the screen, you just cut a little hole in the screen, put that over top, put your substrate down, and whenever it gets enough water you want to drain it, like I said, you just take this cap off, put the wet dry back on top, suck it out, it takes less than 30 seconds. Just another little trick I want to show you. You know, learn from my mistakes. It took me three or four of these trailers before I really start learning these little wee tricks. Go, cool, folks, as you can see, I got them about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. You just keep it even all the way around. And there's that tube I was telling you about. And once you get that done, what you got to do is get a screen. Now, these screens here, you can buy them at a reptile, a reptile store, but save yourself a ton of money. Just go to Canadian Tire, Home Depot or something. You can buy a roll of this. For six seven bucks where one little sheet like this in a reptile store will cost you 20 bucks so it's the same stuff just do not get a metal screen because of course it'll corrode over time just get a nylon screen make sure the holes are small enough you see that the substrate won't go through and also when you cut it you want to cut it so it sticks up about an inch all the way around your tank so the substrate won't go through but once i get this all in because it's hard with one hand i'll show you what it looks like okay folks there's what it looks like now that i got the screen in how i liked it as you can see i'm just starting to do the substrate i got her so the screen's in nice and straight everywhere now what am i using for substrate well, what i'm using is 70 percent the zilla jungle mix it's, it's mixed with fur and sphagnum moss as you can see it's really good for bioactive now what bioactive is is like you, you add springtails and um, isopods and stuff and you never have to change this stuff because they keep they eat all the waste and they keep everything nice and clean but what I'm doing is 70% this jungle mix and 30% I got cocoa fiber in here I mix it 30% of that plus I mix in there some leaf litter and also some uh, snake skin you just uh, the shed from GT, you just 
break that all up and that feeds your uh, isopods and springtails until you know they start getting leaf litter down there that they can eat and you know and all the uh, waste from the frog or for my crested gecko and stuff but yeah that's what I'm gonna do for mix now what I'm gonna do is at the back there I'm gonna have it a lot higher at the back and have it sloped down to the front it just gives it contour stuff and then after that I'll start planting but for this video I'll just show you what it looks like once it got it all the substrate in folks I'm sorry about the glare but as you can see how it starts at the back and works its way down towards the front that's how I got her set up but anyways that's where she looks like now it's really starting to change you can see I got some of the snake skin in there mixed up now I just got to get the isopods and the the uh, springtails and along with the plants now I got a couple of plants here but I'm waiting for a special plant to start at the back and then the one up here that I'm gonna put up here and then up like I said up here it's all gonna be moss hanging down over top but again there's how she looks for the front you got your drainage layer you got your screen then on top you got your substrate and like I said with the springtails and the isopods this will last for years and years and years you'll never have to change it but anyways folks hope you enjoy this it's it's really hard doing this by yourself and uh here's how crazy i am it is actually as you can see it's 153 in the morning as i do this but anyways have a good weekend guys see ya and hit that like button